here in this video i will be taking a problem on composite solid which is made up of hemisphere and cone so let us read the question what is given a solid cone of base diameter 40 cm and height 100 cm is welded to a hemisphere of same diameter find cg of solid composite figure now this is the question which is in front of us whatever is given in this question i will first draw the diagram based on that so let us start the solution part it is given a solid cone of base diameter 40 cm and height 100 cm so first i'll draw the cone here we are having a solid cone and it is welded to a hemisphere of same diameter means at the base of this cone one hemisphere is welded and it is having the same diameter as the base diameter of the cone now i will place this composite solid on an axis system i have placed the composite solid on x and y axis with the origin now here i'll mark the dimensions the height of the cone is given cone is 100 centimeter in height it is welded to a hemisphere of same diameter it means if the base diameter of the cone is 40 centimeter then the radius will be 20 centimeter so here i have marked the dimensions now i have to find the cg center of gravity of solid composite figure whenever they are saying to find center of gravity center of gravity is given in terms of coordinates that is x bar and y bar so here i will be getting the coordinates x bar and y bar and then i would be marking the center of gravity so now what i will do here first since this composite figure is given as we can see that this composite solid is symmetric about the vertical axis this is the y axis of the composite solid and here it is symmetric about this axis as we can see so in this case x bar we can get directly x bar will be the half of the diameter of the base of the cone the diameter of the base of the cone is 40 centimeter so half of that this will be x bar so here i'll start the problem with since the composite solid is symmetric about y axis therefore cg will be on y axis hence x bar will be equal to half of the diameter of base because x bar is equal to the radius of base of the cone so it is 40 by 2 therefore x bar comes out to be 20 centimeter now this is the first answer after getting x bar we need to get y bar for that i will divide this figure that is i'll keep the hemisphere as the first solid and cone as the second solid I will calculate volume and y values for both the solids so on the next page I'll say that since v1 is equal to v1 is the volume of hemisphere and the volume of hemisphere it is given by 2 by 3 into pi r cube 
सो इट इज इक्वल टू टू बाय थ्री इंटू पाए रेडियस ऑफ बेस इट इज ट्वेंटी सेंटीमीटर क्यूब सो देर फॉर आई विल कीप वी वन माई आंसर इज सिक्सटीन पॉइंट सेवन सिक्स इंटू टेन रेस टू थ्री सेंटीमीटर क्यूब this is the value of v1 next i need to calculate y1 also y1 will be equal to now this hemisphere i will draw it separately so that we can understand how we get y1 for this since the hemisphere is kept on an axis system it is kept here now we know that cg for the hemisphere is measured with respect to the diameter and that cg will lie on it is at a distance of 3r upon 8 from the diameter so this distance from the diameter it is 3r divided by 8 but i want to know the distance of this cg with respect to x axis so that will be from r i will subtract 3r by 8 to get this value so in other words the distance from x axis to the cg this will be y1 so i'll say that therefore y1 will be equal to from the radius i will subtract it is r minus i'll subtract 3r by 8 so therefore y1 will be equal to here it is 20 minus 3 into 20 by 8 hence y1 value that comes out to be the answer which i have of y1 that is it is 12.5 cm now after getting v1 and y1 i will get v2 and y2 next i'll say that since v2 is equal to the second solid is the cone and we know volume of cone is given by 1 upon 3 pi r square h so therefore v2 is equal to 1 upon 3 pi r is 20 square into height of the cone is 100 cm so therefore v2 comes out to be 41.89 into 10 raised to 3 cm cube after getting v2 i will calculate y2 and y2 will be equal to since we are measuring distances with respect to the origin this cone is starting after the hemisphere the radius of the hemisphere is 20 cm so i'll write down 20 plus now if we have a cone and height of the cone is 100 cm given for the cone cg will lie at h by 4 distance from the base so this h by 4 distance i have to add here because cone is starting after the hemisphere hemisphere is having a radius of 20 cm so it is 20 plus h by 4 therefore y2 will be equal to 20 plus 100 divided by 4 so y2 is 45 cm now once we know all the values we can go for the calculation of y bar i'll say that since location of cg with respect to x axis is given by 
y bar is equal to v1 y1 plus v2 y2 upon v1 plus v2 so i'll put all the values here therefore y bar will be equal to it is v1 y1 v1 is 16.76 into 10 raised to 3 into y1 that is 12.5 plus v2 into y2 v2 is 41.89 into 10 raised to 3 y2 45 divided by v1 plus v2 so from this if i calculate my answer of y bar is 35.71 centimeters this is the second answer now i will plot the cg on the composite figure This is the y-axis of the composite solid and its distance with respect to the y-axis that is x bar x bar was 20 centimeter now we have calculated y bar it is 35.71 so the radius of hemisphere it is 20 so it is just above that this is the x-axis of composite solid and here the distance is y bar with respect to x axis it is 35.71 centimeter now x axis and y axis wherever they intersect that gives us the cg center of gravity so at this point there is the center of gravity of the composite solid and with this we complete the problem